After his resurrection, Jesus tasked his disciples and said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Many of us had bring the world to church. But for those who actually went into the world and preached the gospel, it's been hard. Eight Christians are killed every single day in the world due to Christianity. 128 Christian churches or buildings are attacked all over the world every single day. 309 Christians are jailed unjustly just because they are trying to get the gospel to the world. I have friends who are atheists and I always tell them, when the end comes, I would rather find I worshipped God and he wasn't there than to find I did not worship him, but he is there because there is no return. It is time to rise up as Christians and, play, and pray for the church. It's our duty, it's our responsibility to pray for the church. There are countries in the world that the sentence for being a Christian is death. By beheading, by hanging, by stoning. I want you to take a minute and pray before I can pray with all of us. Lord, your word says our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. That means you dwell in us. When we go out to the world to preach the gospel, may we not preach, but may you speak to the world through us. I put the church everywhere in the world in your hands. The church is under attack by forces, those known to us and those unknown to us. If Christianity was easy, we would not be Christians, but because it is challenging, we are facing it today because we know that we do not walk alone. Your word says your mercies are new every morning. When they wake up in the preaching of the gospel, may your mercy be new with them every morning. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me, Lord. May you be with the church. May you stand with the church. May the church experience your mercy. May they experience your grace, your love, and your care. Lord, I'm putting every minister of the gospel out there. The ones that are leaving their families to go out into the world and be missionaries. They are leaving their loved ones to go out into deserts. Into, they are abandoning their cars and they have to walk. Lord, may you reserve a special place for them. Your word says, we shall, when we give, our giving becomes a monument before you. They have given their time. They have given their hearts. They have given their families. Romans says, let our bodies be a living sacrifice. Oh Lord, we, the missionaries are giving their good beds for sleep. Their good houses to preach the gospel. Because their bodies are now a living sacrifice to you. Lord, may you honor their giving. May you honor their service. May you protect the church out there. May you shield and cover it in the blood of Jesus because your word says, at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord. May this word come to pass. In Jesus' name I believe and pray. Amen.